It all started in the 13th century with temples like these. Exquisitely carved, these monuments are powerful reminders of the high level of craftsmanship that existed then. Thankfully, these skills are alive even today. Located around the capital of Orissa is the Bhubaneswar stone carving cluster. Production takes place either in household units or in the larger craft production centers which are owned and managed by master craftsmen. All in all, the cluster has an estimated annual turnover of 2.5 crore rupees. However, not all is well with this historic cluster. Craft units do not have work all through the year. Workers often do not get their wages and many of the household artisans are on the brinks of poverty. So what could be done to make the cluster dynamic and reduce the level of poverty? In order to address these issues, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization or UNIDO in partnership with the government of Orissa initiated a cluster development program. That was in 2005. The cluster development approach hinges largely on joint action from the producers. See, there are a lot of things in a cluster which individual producers on their own cannot do or cannot handle. The cluster approach trains people, creates platforms and helps them take joint actions towards solving their problems and sometimes exploiting the opportunities that they have. At the outset, the program carried out a detailed diagnostic study in order to understand the kind of challenges being faced by the cluster. The diagnostic study revealed that the artisans did not have strong institutions of their own. They faced a shortage of credit and were hampered by weak market linkages. There were artisans whose skills needed upgradation and the cluster had not absorbed any new technologies. Before the program, master craftsmen who ran their own craft production units were fragmented. They had no result-oriented institutions of their own. And as a result, they could not overcome critical hurdles like a chronic shortage of working capital. But why could they not get loans to tide over the immediate capital needs? The banks were not supporting the individual units because the paper of paperwork for uh, getting loan of the individuals were not complete. So what we did, we approached some of the microfinance institutions who showed interest but on one condition that they can support only groups. However, getting these master craftsmen to form a group was not easy. It was very difficult to form the group of these stone carving artisans here because there are a lot of unhealthy competition among themselves, the lack of trust among themselves. They were, uh, the, because the opportunity of marketing was very low, there are a lot of uh, infighting among themselves. So I had to spend a lot of time and I also initially I became frustrated also because I couldn't find many good results and then slowly and gradually uh, I persuaded them and only a few members came forward to you know to form a group and then start experimenting with some of the group activities. These were the master craftsmen who set up their registered self-help cooperative in Konark. And as a result, they were able to get loans from the microfinance institution. Okay. 
तेणु जो वार्कर मैंने पैसा ठीक से पाई नाने भी पैसा ठीक से पाँच मोर वेबसाइट भी मु मराम भी कर दुकान टेपट कर भाग ही करूँ ता संगे मु मोर पुंजी भी किसी खटे This is the retail outlet that Sham Sundar Maharana was referring to. Located right near one of the main roads in Konark, this outlet is another result of the group initiative. Actually, first time I am working for them, they have been working for me. 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 Another problem for craftsmen working in isolation is one of marketing. It is difficult for them to create direct linkages with more demanding markets. However, as groups, new possibilities emerge. पूर्वोत्तर सारे हम काम ही लोकल व्यापारी मान को दो थलो। तेरे प्रोग्राम मध्य में हम बाहर को जेतलो गोलो जान लो जो सेंट्रल कोटेज इंडस्ट्रीज कॉरपोरेशन जो दिल्ली रहो ची, शेमान काम करने चंदी। शेट्टी का हम फोटोग्राफ्स आओ किसी सैंपल नहीं करी गोलो। जब आप रिश्ते हम उस सैंपल को पसंद करे, फोटोग्राफ देखले, तब पर इसी कले तम्हें कामों दे पेरवा मुक आम को लगे आमर वोड ग्रुप अच्छी दस बारे लोगों ग्रुप अच्छी, आमे जेते कामों दे पे आमे शेख कलेटर काम भी हमें दे पेरी बो, तब पर सिटी आमे जो कामों करते लो किसी दिन दुआ काम भी सिरी देखले, � why did the master craftsmen not take such initiatives earlier? अम्मे शिम्तो सुविधा के भी पाए न थे लो जेजार जी कामों करे उड़ कारीगरों करो थे लाना के कापा उड़े जाई पार न थे लो आउ निजे खट्टू भी निजे जाई पेरू तो नो शिम्त के भाभी निजे इमित उड़े कॉलेज कौन सुपड़ा मिल बैंड क्यों चिंता भी करना थे लो In Bhubaneswar too. Some master craftsmen came together and formed their own group. One of its early initiatives was an exposure visit to other stone carving clusters. As a part of our trust building exercise, we uh, took the members of this group, around 12 of them, to Jaipur. Uh, and in Jaipur, particularly to Sikandara. I was in Jaipur, and I was in सबु भला भला संस्था से बोली देखेलो सब ठहरे सबु कम करते ना सबु मशीनरी यूज़ करेगी माने बढ़िया बढ़िया जिन सब काम समय वितरण प्रदर्शन बाहर करते हैं फिर लापरे अमर जो प्रोग्राम आते हैं हमरे अमर उटा सप्लाई सिंडिकेट आ ची ताकु उटे डेमोनस्ट्रेशन पे डॉकेलो सेवन आशी के आमुक सबु मशीनरी बाबा � जो टाइप की देखिलू आमे कॉम मैन पावर रहे आउ सिग्रह मध्य हो ये टाइप प्रोडक्शन ही पारू जाओ भला क्वालिटी मध्य हो यूज़ करी है उची। For instance, this was how artisans were cutting stone in the past, and this is how they are doing it now. Clearly, the Jaipur trip has made a lot of impact on the master craftsmen. But where did they get the capital to buy these machines? Again, since they were a part of a registered group, they could get loans from microfinance institutions. Meanwhile, there has been another important outcome of group formation. Master craftsmen have started taking much bigger orders. Group collaborate, labhaela, su sampar ko bolila. Gote order asla bhitere, jadi order mupa ko adhya pore asla mu kama nokar bere order cancel ho thala. Group hawa dora banti kama kor dalu order. से लोकर पिला पे गला से नहीं गला आउ वोटे अम्म कारीगरों मन जो मन कामों करते हैं इसलिए कारीगरों भाई मने कारीगरों मानों को नहीं जाओ थले किसी एक ताम ताका कारीगरों को मुंह नहीं जाओ थले ये हो बात द्वारा आउ किए का कारीगरों को नोना नहीं इसलिए तमो बैठे तो आमे आमे बैठे ताद द्वारा पत्थरा Like their counterparts in Konark and Bhubaneswar, these master craftsmen in Puri have also formed their own group. And this has already translated into a powerful marketing initiative. The master craftsmen here, they are totally depending on the local traders. And the margin was very low, less than 5% also in many cases. So we thought that we will possibly link them to some of the national buyers 
where they will get better margin. So what we did is we went around in the national market. Then we made a list of the national buyers, particularly in Jaipur, Delhi and other big cities. And we shared this information with the uh, or group of our, uh, master craftsmen here. And based on this information, they went on an exposure visit and they also shared the samples with uh, these national buyers and they got linked uh, with these national buyers and this is continuing on. The master craftsmen who are now getting much better margins are quick to acknowledge the impact of the program and the advantages of group formation. The program is not a good thing. The group is not a good thing. The customer is not a good thing. The group 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 is not a good thing. The the group has now taken other initiatives to strengthen its linkages with more demanding markets. I am a group of the Jaipur Jaipur Stone Mart exhibition. I am a part of the Sabutu Bada Pathara Silpa Pradarsani. I am a part of the Truck Lord Jinsan. I am a part of the Gote Jinsan Sabutu Bada Pathara Silpa Pradarsani. I am a part of the Gote Jinsan Sabutu Bada Pathara Silpa Pradarsani. I am a part of the Gote Jinsan Sabutu Bada Pathara Silpa Pradarsani. I am a part of the Gote Jinsan Sabutu Bada Pathara Silpa Pradarsani. As more master craftsmen get together and take new initiatives, there is every reason to believe that they will prosper. And along with this prosperity will come more jobs, bigger salaries and better working conditions for the employees. But what about the household artisans? Many like Dhaneshwar Biswal from Raul Patna had been struggling. Like he mentioned earlier, he survived by working on stones discarded by the bigger units. Two years ago, he became a part of the cluster development program. Along with four others, he formed a joint liability group and was able to get some loan for his working capital needs. We have a cash function in the past function. We दलापुरे किसी भला रोजगार में दिया हला एबे संपूर्ण रूप से रोजगार बढ़ी ची एवं मुरो परिस्थिति आर्थिक और परिस्थिति में दिया बदल जाए ची। Group formation works in Raul Patna. It has allowed collaborating household artisans to access credit for their working capital needs. And in Nagpur village, it has helped to improve the skill levels of women. Many of the household artisans in the stone craft cluster are women. Usually, they are engaged in making small products that require very little skills. As a result, their incomes are among the lowest in the cluster. As a part of the cluster development program, women in Nagpur have come together and form their own self-help cooperative society. This microcredit group has even been able to organize training programs for its members. As a result, Mamta, a former trainee, is now able to add more value to her products. <laughs> Empowered by the new skills, women have been able to increase their earnings.
One issue that emerged in the diagnostic study was the high prevalence of illnesses in the stone carving communities. Treatment was expensive for poor families and the working days lost simply made it worse. Like other villages in the area, the villagers here also suffer from many health related problems. Particularly they suffer a lot of seasonal diseases like diarrhea, dengue fever and other skin diseases. Other than that, they also suffer from a lot of these craft related problems like backache, like eye problems and these are the problems. And they also don't have any health coverage for them also. In Nagpur village, the women's group has been active in addressing some of these issues. प्रोग्राम आधे हमारे हेल्थ कैंप कर लो हेल्थ कैंप बाहरों डॉक्टर आ सिले डॉक्टर आ सिकरी आम को किच्छ मेडिसिन दले चेकअप भी कर ले आमे सब आवश्यक नहीं कि आसलो तब रे हेल्थ इंसान से है ला हेल्थ इंसान आमे पच्चीस हजार तक कैंप लेकले पायलो the group has also been able to use an existing government program to get sanitary latrines constructed for many villagers. आगुरो हमें किच्छ जाने न थलो प्रोग्राम आधे हमारे किच्छ जाने लो सरकार अंकरो किच्छ स्क्रीन में अच्छी बिली जाने ला परे आम मेंबरो पीछा दूध से लगा दिलो दबा परे सरकार अंको तरो पुरु बारह स्टोंगर लगा पायलो पाये बा परे समस्त गोटो गोटे लैटिन करलो सत्रु बेनिफिटी upgrading skills, introducing new technologies and strengthening market linkages. A unique feature of the cluster development approach is that it deals with the entire value chain. That's because it believes strongly that it is value chains and not individual firms that compete in the market. And facilitating positive changes along this chain is an important professional the cluster development agent or the CDA. A cluster development agent is a change agent placed in the cluster who has been trained extensively in the art and science of cluster development. The agent is able to identify the critical bottlenecks facing the cluster and then by inducing collaboration between various producers and various other cluster actors he or she is able to find solutions to those critical bottlenecks. So what makes for a successful cluster development agent or CDA? CDA also has to have big ears. Somebody who is willing to listen, somebody who is willing to understand the issues, somebody who is willing to go out to those steps of the people and pick up the real constraints that they face. Cluster development agent may or may not be a subject expert. For example, in a weaving cluster, it is not essential that the CDA is an expert in weaving or in dyeing. But what a CDA essentially specializes in is the ability to locate solutions and bring those solutions through networking to the cluster. Interacting constantly with the entrepreneurs and often drawn from the community is the network development agent. Quite often the clusters that we work in are widely spread either over few villages or over few industrial areas. In such cases it's not feasible for a CDA to be in touch with the networks, with the SAGs, with the federations on a day-to-day -day basis. Quite often people from the community boys and girls from the community are taken in as network development agents who look after these networks, these groups, handhold them in day-to-day -day decisions and find solutions to critical bottlenecks. Effective cluster development agents and network development agents can set into motion an important process of change. In the Stone Carvers cluster, for instance, around 200 artisans have been able to access credit of more than 75 lakh rupees. 150 household artisans have increased their incomes by 400 to 500 rupees per month. Similarly, 50 craft production units have increased their monthly profits by nearly 1,000 rupees. And availability of working capital has led to an increase of around 1.5 crore rupees in sales. Clearly, the seeds of change have been planted.